today. More clouds than sun. It is still going to be humid, though, and we could even see a few rain showers moving in. These have been falling apart, moving in across parts of Illinois and western sections of Indiana, and now moving into central parts of the state. So we'll see a chance for some showers this morning, a bit of a break, and then more rain expected late this afternoon into the early evening hours. Here's a look at Storm Tracker a little farther northward across parts of South Bend. Plymouth, you're seeing some moderate to heavy rain also stretching into parts of LaPorte County right now. Uh, Rochester, Logansport, some light showers and really coming down in a pretty good clip here over across parts of Lafayette. Not seeing any severe weather right now with these storms. Uh, just some plain old rain here across much of the area. Farther southward, a few spotty showers into Columbus, southern sections of Shelby County, also around Martinsville and Bedford over in Lawrence County. You're seeing a few light showers as well. This is round one here. We still have the cold front off to the west of us. As that cold front moves farther eastward, we'll see another chance for some showers and thunderstorms to redevelop here as we go to the late afternoon and early evening hours. Ahead of the front, very uncomfortable, humid air behind the front much less humid air will work in here pretty nice as we go into thursday and friday so one more humid day along with the chance for some of those showers and storms future cast shows we get a bit of a break here uh through the middle part of the day and then again around uh, the after the evening rush i'd say around eight o'clock or so we'll see that a uh, thin line of showers and thunder thunderstorms develop and then push into the eastern part of the state. Now, some of those, an isolated one or two thunderstorm may reach severe criteria, so we do have a marginal risk in place from South Bend, Indianapolis, and points eastward that maybe some of those thunderstorms could reach severe criteria with some gusty winds and maybe even a little bit of hail. We do have rain being reported officially at the airport coming in at 73 degrees right now. Uh, and it's humid. We've got these dew point values in the upper 60s, right around 70 degrees. So very uncomfortable air mass in place right now. But not too far behind here. We do have some lower dew points just off to the west of us. 72, good morning to you in Noblesville. Anderson, Greenfield coming in at 70 degrees right now. And it's 74 in Greencastle. Today we will be into the mid 80s, but feels like temperatures with those a high humidity values feel more like around 90 degrees. Temperatures today will be staying in the middle 80s. I do think we're going to see more clouds than sun for the day today. Tonight will drop down to 64 degrees, mainly cloudy, cooler and less humid. Look at this. The muggy air moves out of the state through the day tomorrow, and we are going to see dew point values dropping into the 50s. Some more refreshing air in place. We'll get up to about 69 degrees tomorrow at noon and into the 70s tomorrow afternoon. And we are going to stay into the 70s for your Thursday and into your Friday as well. In your Circulus digital media, uh, eight day forecast, we are going to see pretty dry conditions here over the next couple of days. Temps near 74 on Friday, perfect for the zone football games. 75 Saturday, and of course, we've got a home Colts opener game here. 78 degrees on Sunday, dry. Next chance of rain on Tuesday.